What's going on? How's everyone doing today? It is Andrew here for MAO Magic with the major 3.0 update to the Philips Hue application. This is a huge update, the biggest update since the major 2.0 release. And honestly, that 2.0 release really ruffled a lot of feathers. There were a lot of people who do not like that major update. And here in version 3.0, they've taken a lot of that feedback to make a pretty great version of the Hue app. This is by far the best version of the app that they have released. And there are lots of new things to look through. So we're going to just, after looking through these release notes, we're going to dig in and show you what's new in the app and how it works. The biggest changes is really just an improvement to the interface making it quicker and easier to get to all the things that you need to do, like turning off a room, changing the brightness of a room, or changing the entire color scheme of a specific room. Right here in the first head, under home, all of my rooms are here, living room, kitchen, etc. I can turn them all off with that switch on the top right hand corner, or I can go room by room and turn them off individually and adjust the brightness by tapping into it, get more details, or just 3D touching, it actually pulls up the color chooser interface where I can choose either different whites or different colors if my bulbs support that. Once I go into a specific room, like the living room here, we have those three options, a list of all the lights, a color picker, and then just the different scenes that I can easily set. I can go through each individual bulb or grouping and adjust the brightness or turn them on and off individually, or right along the top, I can change the brightness and turn them all off together. Tapping into any individual bulb or light allows me to choose the color. So any colors that I'd like to choose or any version of white, whether it's warm or more of a cool light. And you can see as I change the colors, there's a really cool gradient effect that summarizes the room as a whole right there on top. They've also brought back the ability to create scenes and colorscapes from images. So when I'm creating a scene here, I can go ahead and choose just from the palette or I can go in here and choose from different photos. I can jump into my camera roll and go through any of the photos that I like, maybe something bright and colorful from a recent concert. Perfect, I can crop it in to only get the certain area or colors that I'm really digging. Or if I don't wanna use my photos, they have over 30 different ones that they've selected with all these different kind of themes like sunlights, seasons, golden hours, city lights, which actually is a bunch of different cities across the world, and then twilight. So there's a lot of really great ones to choose from out of the gate, or I can simply choose and work with some of the photos that I've personally taken. This is a really neat feature. I'm glad they brought it back and their whole new scene light engine just does a really good job of picking the best lights to use for those scenes. There's also a bunch more to dig into, such as routines, where you can choose from the basic routines like home and away, waking up, going to sleep, or simply your own custom schedules that you want to create. There's still timers, which is also very handy because you can't do things like that in HomeKit. Under settings, it's the same old stuff that we saw in the past, such as logging in for out of home control if you're not using something like HomeKit, tying into your bridge, setting up different lights or accessories, your gaming entertainment type stuff, and of course, performing updates. Really the biggest thing here, I think, is the creation of scenes. It's a whole lot easier now. I can change all my lights right here from like the main view of a room and then simply save that as a scene. If I like it, it looks awesome. Save all those in, lock it in, throw out my blueberry scene, and that'll even sync across to HomeKit, making it easier to set that via Siri. Wrapping it up here, the Hue 3.0 app for iOS, Android, whatever your case may be, is just a huge improvement overall. It is so much faster just to get in and get to the things that you need to do, like dimming things, changing colors, or just changing a room by itself, even turning off lights. It's just much more intuitive than it was in the past, and I love being able to take my photos that I've taken from memories, from vacations, and tie all that together into this beautiful lightscape for my rooms. I would love to know what you guys thought of this most recent update. Tell us what your favorite features are and which things you don't like down below in the comments. What do you guys want to see in the next version of the app as well? Be sure to let me know. Until next time, this has been Andrew for MAO Magic.